I think he got the angry. <laughs> yeah. Peggy 12, children's game. Called as a whole family game, so because it has a, basically something from everyone. A bit like Pixar's animations, which are, yeah. Uh, Adults and kids are actually laughing to different, different things. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. Levioso, incendio! This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Yeah, that's why I'm using light. This has collapsed, so it's <coughs> not not the right way to go. Devil snare. Go back to Japan. Incendio, Lumos. Seems the devil snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Gear slots are full. Oh uh, no! Once again. One here. That's, that's too expensive. <laughs> Not going to destroy that. I uh, haven't checked this one. Luckily they actually fixed that bug, where you could actually lose stuff by just uh, silver scarf. I'm not probably going to use this, because it's, I have a enhancement in this this uh, scarf here so it's like about three slots open now solitary and rope I wonder what kind of rope is that Pretty basic. I don't have any any rope that is actually is more than just offense number. This is pretty cool, but 
school uniform. This is I uh, I could actually use that for transmog. Now that that we are actually in a Okay, it, it actually came up. Me, I me a bit a of a bite. Enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Yeah. Okay, so uh, big problems. Um, And of course, it, it has another exit some, to some place. You actually know. I wonder if the old wizards were actually more powerful than, than the new ones. Okay, I, I can. Ex have you found anything to, uh, prove my bravery yet? Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puff Scheme Dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Thank you for all of your help. No more puff scene dunking for me. So, our our main character is actually helping other students to cheat and <laughs> cheat and uh, lie and take a merit for for stuff they didn't do. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> okay, what else we have? I think that there's a new scenery. And that uh, tower there is, is something I have been thinking about. I, I want to take a look at. Yeah, the entity streaming isn't as Revelio. good as in some, well, games made by uh, bigger companies, but, hey, come on, work with me, so, yeah, so, could, could use some more fine-tuning and, no, no, it stopped, no, it's not lagging anymore, okay, so, I need to get rid of the gear. So this is the oldery. All right. Used mystery salt. Full of full of bird poo. <laughs> are like watching that what are you doing here to be unloaded and loaded and I, I think it's elegant idea that it's going to unload when you are trying to open the door uh, unload and load but it's still going to give you some bumps in the game so while it 
it is it is a nice thought that we could have a game without loading screens. That's still a bit a bit uh, out of their idea. Rebellion. Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh dear. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. Okay. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumors that goblins may have been involved, well, I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried about my uncle, or am I overthinking this? I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. She's convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. I... Ugh. Could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. Has your uncle traded with many goblins? Yes, for ages. Even speaks gobbledygook. Gobbledygook. But he only recently mentioned... Ranrock's lot. Insisting the galleons were worth the risk. He does it for me. Between robes and supplies, attending Hogwarts costs a fair sickle. And besides that, Uncle Roland has expensive taste. He's sacrificed so much for me over the years. I promised him that as soon as I finish Hogwarts, I shall be the one taking care of him. So how much actually studying in Hogwarts costs? I take it you and your uncle are close. We are. My mother died when I was born, and I lost my father when I was five. Uncle Roland's looked after me for as long as I can remember. He knows I get anxious when he travels, and that's why he sends me all the owls, to let me know that he's all right. I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank you. He's very thorough in his record keeping, notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last owl, he drew me a map of his next stop. He planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. Okay. I hope Adelaide's uncle Roland is all right. She seems very worried. Apparently, Adelaide mentioned her uncle's camp may be near Brockborough, past the river. Apparently, Quest is still sending us to the north side of this uh, area. But apparently, when we are actually starting to deal with the uh, loyalists, they are going to send us far south. This be Mr. Oates' campsite. Lumos. Oh, well, that's totally the wrong spell for this. Ranrock's loyalists, just ahead. Should I take them by force or be discreet? Go and patrol! <laughs> like I ain't got nothing better to do. Oh. 
Revelio. Mr. Oaks' trade journal. Apparently, it's a deal gone bad. remove all, all, all these green items because they are not valuable. Disarming one. Okay. Apparently when the game is actually giving us more stuff it's going to need, we are going to Revelio. be able to upgrade our items rather soon, soonish. I should investigate. Strapped school rope. Item, and I haven't yet to search this place. Revelio. Okay, there's another paper. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. A river, and there's a couple of ruins. So it's like and the crumbling tower. The spot on the map should be directly south of it. Confringo. Okay, it's timed. So I need to Rebellion. be fa fast with this one. 
So where are the other ones? Okay. Revelio. So up there. Confringo. No. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. <laughs> yeah, sure. Now we continue the rescue mission. Coral ruins. What do we have here? Well, it's commander. Seems like. Come on, come on. I've just learned to land. Hmm. I may have more luck higher up in the keep. Humans do every time. This is the spot on the map. I'd best have my wits about me. Oh no. Expelliarmus, the balls are. You can't stop me. Easily. Expelliarmus, Protego. That was a bit shoddy, but worked. Okay, so. Right, this is a uh, prisoner rescue mission. So we can just sneak in here and complete the battle without using Vigil Wheel Potion. Slam the leaping loyalty commander on the crowd. That would be fun. I wonder what's inside. But yeah, uh, apparently this is full size rescue mission, and I still seem to be able to block if I'm holding the keys down here with, with, the, with the controller. So it's yeah, it's like button smashing every time. Yeah, getting getting hand of it. But what will we find in here? 
Revelio. Upgraded Revelio is actually pretty good. Three, three coins. It won't be long now before we find another repository. It's punishment to us all to have that miserable human around. Oh, you didn't so see me. So I can't sneak up there. They're going to see me. I think. So I think uh, my next best choice would be like start start fight fight right right here. Right now, right here. Things were spot on. Rebellio. Expelliant. I started the with the Defindo because uh, it's like re really useful. I can I can hit two on the row. So that's why. Confringo. Okay, there were no <laughs> hidden passage behind there. So, um, lock, lock gate, gate here. Aloha, Mora. Yeah, this is easy now. Revelio. Your blood's on Ranrock's hands. Okay. Lots of lots of uh, stuff here. a little bit of money okay, I have way too many hats way too, way too many hats charming school cloak I wonder who is who is it is it going to charm? Huge amount of cloaks here. Recall school cloak, striped suit, school robe. Okay, this is well it it is charming. Let's say it that way. Oh, can I get... I can get out up here. Oh. 
Rebellion. This word is worthless. This prisoner owes us the metal we were promised. The area is still clear. If anybody cares. Okay, I could blast somebody with the. Uh, okay, this is not good. Somehow this this is uh, normal casting is pretty slow for me. A boiler or... door. How to open it? Boiler door. Crimson top hat. <laughs> oh yes. Bit with this pull uh, uh, controller, this is pretty slow normal casting. Revelio. So this is what I saw before. There's a cage. Or uh, rather hidden. Expelliarmus! Confringo! Unidentified neck item. Nice. Let's go with the... Um, I like how in this game this is not totally invincible. Uh, in invisibility, I mean. Let me 
Okay, that was. Okay, that's a that's a dungeon. Hello, Mr. Oaks. Yes, I'm here. They've taken my wand. This cell has an enchanted lock. I have spirit with these locks, but I need my wand if I have any chance of opening it. Look for a boiling door. I've heard them speak of it. I need to find Mr. Oaks' wand. Where could it be? Revelio. At the boiling door. without classes this time. Um. I can actually destroy these two, not not any way important. Revelio. Boiler door. How to open the boiler door? Probably with the boiler or something. Apparently goblins have this kind of steampunk technology. And, and wizards are like... Not really good with the, with the technology. And there's a lot, lot of guys here. Let 
Expelliarmus. I've been fighting since before you were born. Expelliarmus. Not quite. Good for you. Let me over. That was good for me. Akio. Was that your best? Expelliarmus. You can't handle us. Let me over. Akio. Expelliarmus. He is diverted. Expelliarmus. Let me over. Akio. These gear slots are filling quite rapidly. I have still slight issues how to change the between between those. Uh, Targets doesn't feel so intuitive. Revelio. Oh, there's more of them. You only have Ranrock to blame. It's close. Nice. Actually, I should probably remove more, more of my gear, so I can actually have a. Uh, crimson top hat, because why not? Revelio. This must be Mr. Oaks's wand. Perhaps now he can set himself free. You did it! I oh, found my wand and... Wait, you're a student? Oh, we must get you to safety immediately. It's dangerous. It's yep. right, Mr. Oaks. I've dealt with these goblins before. Dear Merlin, you're either very lucky or very talented. Well, how did you find me? I'm a friend of Adelaide's. She was worried about your business with Ranrock's loyalists. Oh, she was right to be. I couldn't go through with the agreement, and when I told them, I ended up blindfolded and behind bars. Been locked in that infernal cell for so long, they'd forgot I was even there. They overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasted goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you, truly. You mentioned you overheard things. <sighs> Sad tale, really. I think I know where Ramrock's unfortunate vendetta against wizard kind began. Okay. Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlocks Convention of 1709, Ranrock stumbled upon an illegal dragon camp. He was young, found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could, never making his presence known. After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock wanted to join them and the creatures. 
The wizard happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. He picked it up, went to hand it back as a, a means of introducing himself. The sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. He beat Ranrock nearly to death. Ever since, Ranrock has despised wizard kind. Sees us all as cruel. Am I right that you speak gobbledygook? Unbeknownst to Ramrock's fiends, I do. I've always had an affinity for goblin culture. Knew I wanted to be a metal trader ever since I was a lad. It wasn't easy learning the language. It's, it's complex. And my memory's as weak as my knees these days. But after decades working with fine goblin folk, I grew fairly proficient. At least, I'd like to think so. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I, her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. Apparently, Vantless casting is a thing, but it's, it's much, much, much oh, harder than without. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. Mr. Oaks was lucky. Hanrock's lot would never have freed him. <laughs>